probably be the most talented team that we've played since my, uh, since Ohio State. Uh, big and physical up front, uh, dynamic skill guys. Um, you know, a receiver and at running back. You know, and then you know, you got a quarterback that was the ACC Rookie of the Year. And he's playing, he's having a great year. Uh, you know, you you watch them and uh, just you see what you see all the, all the years we played in Miami. Just a fast, athletic, uh, physical, uh, dynamic. Dynamic talent. They have the elements for passing and the elements for running talent wise. Do they seek to be balanced or do you know? I'd say they are. I'd say they are. You know, uh, they're running it for, I'm not for sure the exact numbers, but enough. And that's one thing we've got to do. You know, last year they came in and ran all over us. And I'm sure they want to do the same thing. You know, right now they're going to feel like they're 0 1 in the league and they've got to get back right. Uh, they're, I know their staff, they're going to be frothing at the mouth to come out and play. And, and, but so do we. We need to be able to match that and, and, and be physical and play fast and execute ourselves. So, but uh, they're a talented team that, you know, with the, I think the Kaya kid has is, is got a big leg arm, uh, accurate, and, uh, you know, he can throw it down the field. But then, you know, they also have the, the front that they're athletic and the backs that are athletic that can they stretch you and do a great job with the upcuts and things. So we had to do a great job of leveraging our gaps in those times, which we didn't do a very good job of last year. You talked about Kaya. He didn't have a big role in last year's game because they ran so well. They, what have you seen out of him this year that's better than last well, year? Well, I, I see guys just, uh, you know, so much farther along just with his poise. They weren't going to let him last year in our game, you know, uh, kind of like uh, BC has in the last when they, a couple of years ago. We're gonna let them him beat them, you know. So they came out and ran the ball, put a lot, didn't take, put the, took the pressure off of him, and uh, did some things unique wise, blocking, knowing about our edge pressures and different things, um, you know. But they established the run, and you know, we we were just kind of, uh, you know, we were we weren't very good up front last year. What was all said and done, didn't tackle very well, didn't secure our gaps, and they didn't need him a whole lot when they you know needed to. But he made some throws when they needed to too. So, uh, you know, and. and uh, you know, we're hoping we can hold up in the run game and, you know, maybe put it on his shoulders at the end of the day. What have you been doing at the two safety spots? Are those kids, Alexander, is he playing both spots a little No, bit? no. We're, we're, well, in certain looks, you know, in man free, we like him being a guy that he's a good tackler in space. Uh, he's got great range, as you guys can see, and go get the ball. And, uh, you know, but in certain things, you know, Chuck's still our free safety and he's a rover, you know. and. Uh, there's just certain experiences, particularly in the one back running stuff, that Chuck's more comfortable probably being down. And, and um, you know, Adonis does a great job, uh, you know, in space and, and, making, and making plays in space right now. Is this a game with those young guys in the secondary that's going to test them as much as they I'm sure it will. Them? Yeah, as much as, we, as much as we've been tested so far, we will because they'll, they'll take some shots. And, uh, you know, particularly with, the, you know, we've got young corners and, and – uh, you know, and, and uh, we've got a young nickel. So, yeah, I'm sure they'll do some of those things. Have you seen Since that group get better? Frustration at, at all from, from Daddy? Just, I know you, 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 you stress pressure and making quarterbacks move and making them uncomfortable, but just the fact that, you know, this the lack of sacks. Uh, yeah, he might be frustrated, but he, you know, he hasn't shown it a whole lot. And, uh, you know, the other night he had some great pressure that led to some sacks, you know. And, uh, you know, he's also got to, you know, he, I think Charlie's done a great job of letting him understand that, you know, he, he's, he may not have got the sack, but he was the reason the sack was made, you know. So, you know, either that, that's part of being a team and team player. But I'm sure individually, particularly with everything that's, you know, uh, all the hype going into the year, I'm sure, uh, you know, he's disappointed with the numbers. But, uh, you know, it still comes back down. we got to, you know, just play it hard and being consistent, and it'll take care of itself in the end. I know you guys never played. Do you ever cross paths with Steve Spurrier in your career? Uh, yeah, I've not played against him, but talked to him on several occasions. And um, so, yeah. What do you think of him as a Well, I think coach? he's a great football coach. He's had a great career. Um, hate to see a guy go in the middle of the season like that. Um, but, uh, and I don't know all the circumstances why, but, uh, you know, the guy's, I mean, his record speaks for himself or, or what he's, what, you know, he's done. And, you know, you know, obviously what he did at Duke, what he did at Florida, and then, you know, taking the, you know, the South Carolina program and, you know, taking it to a, you know, level, you know, he's, he's done some things that some other coaches haven't done at those places. So I think that makes a big statement. So, you know, it's a, I know he's a personality. 
Um, you know, I know the people will miss him. He'll probably be on talk shows and stuff before long. But, uh, you know, uh, wish him the very best. How yeah. happy are you that Duke Johnson's playing on Sundays instead of uh, in uh, South Beach this weekend? Well, it's good for him. I mean, you know, it's uh, – <laughs> Uh, he's that kind of back, but we've, we're not concerned about him now. We've got a couple guys there in the backfield that uh, are dynamic and very similar, and there has there's not a very much drop off from you know their tailback position this year from last year. How long did it take you to successfully pronounce Matua Pawaka? Uh, a week, a week. probably. Okay. Yeah, probably a week. Mac yeah. Brown called him a Tuka Puka. I heard. I didn't. Broadcast. I never did see him, but uh, yeah. So, yeah. So you guys have done a great job with him. Too, so. <laughs>